all right guys welcome back to another video today we've got the latest and greatest projector from benq this is the w4000i and there's a couple of things that's really cool about it first of all it's an android tv compatible projector it'll give you a screen size from 100 inches to 150 inches it's got true 4k calibrated from the factory and supposed to be really color accurate we're going to be checking out the android tv and let's check out some ps5 as well so let's just unbox this guy look at some of the ports and features that you get on this let's get into it this is what you get in the box this is the projector itself it's a beefy guy uh, of course you can wall mount this or ceiling mount it if you need to you also get an android tv stick inside this is from benq and there's a little compartment at the back of the projector where i think this one slides into so that's pretty cool we'll install that soon you also get your standard power cables and you also get the benq remote nice remote feels nice in the hand pretty slim and also get the certificate that says it's individually calibrated so there's a report in here so this projector does the full 100% DCP-IP color range which is amazing and it also has full HDR support including HDR10 plus which is similar to Dolby Vision now this projector doesn't do Dolby Vision as far as I know but it does do HDR10 plus similar to the Samsung TVs so it's also got filmmaker mode which is interesting that allows the projector to have more accurate colors in terms of how the filmmaker intended it to be seen so a couple of cool things about this projector is that it's a true 4k uh, system inside over here so most projectors they kind of upscale it like similar to the difference between 1080p and 1080i this one does the full 4k resolution which allows it a couple of things first of all the image will be a little bit crisper but also the colors should be more accurate the black level should be deeper so we'll be checking all that out so the back of the projector we got a 12 volt trigger a lan port rs232 port 2.5 amp usb port two hdmi ports a media reader as well as an audio out and an optical port so this one's pretty feature packed so let's quickly install the benq media streaming uh, kit over here so i think we just kind of slide this thing in let's just quickly talk about the other controls that you have on so on the top you've got two adjustment knobs where you can move the lens slightly up and down you've got a focus and a zoom wheel manual controls which is really nice on the side over here we've got all the controls including power and the menu options to configure this thing as per your requirement but of course you can do all that with the remote control now let's go see what this baby can do All right, guys, I think this is as big as we're going to get, I think, width-wise. It's about 120 inches in width. Hey guys, we got everything set up. Uh, I'm so glad that this projector has Android TV inbuilt because it makes things so easy. You have access to every single app out there. So Android TV has by far the most support, I would say, LG TVs and Samsung TVs have their own operating system which are pretty well supported as well but by far I think Android TV has the most support so we're going to check out some Netflix and some Disney Plus and Alright guys we pretty much have ideal viewing conditions over here now the room is pretty dark there are some ambient lights on behind me but nothing too major now this is one of the brightest projectors I've seen because even with this light like I do have a video light over here to give me light uh, for this shot and I do have some ambient lights on and it's still looking great and the black levels are looking fantastic. So I've tried quite a few projectors and this is one of the best, I must say. Uh, let's just check out something with good HDR and let's see how that looks on this thing. Wow, that looks fantastic. I mean, I feel like the resolution of this is really fantastic. Like, I don't think I've seen resolution this good on a projector. It looks really good. So I recently bought a 98 inch TV, which is right here, by the way. And I'm going to be talking about that soon in an upcoming video. But I would say this is on par in terms of like pixel resolution. It looks great, even at this gigantic size, which is dwarfing my 98 inch TV right now. So this is a 98 inch TV. I know it doesn't look like it is over here because it looks tiny compared to this probably 125 or 130 inch projection but just look at this it makes this tv look tiny and this is the biggest tv that you can buy right now 
So that's where the projection screens always outperform any TV is in terms of size for sure. But this one in particular is giving you size and clarity and brightness. Uh, you know, I do a lot of color editing and stuff on these videos. So I have a pretty good idea of what it's supposed to look like. So let's see how that looks now. We're not buying everything I put on the Tesla referral program. Oh, this is cool. So I edit these videos on a DCP-IP color calibrated monitor, the LG uh, Ergo. I'll leave a link up here if you guys want to check out that monitor. It's a 32 inch color accurate monitor and this thing looks just as good even though this is not a, a perfect lighting situation. Okay, now let's really push this guy and turn off all the lights over here and let's see how good this thing does, okay? Okay, now an almost perfect lighting situation. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is really impressive. So one of the, the key things about this um, projector is that it, ha it has, I think, 3,200 and see of projection brightness, which is supposed to be really high. I don't think I've ever seen a projector this bright, which is super cool. Now, of course, my camera is not capturing an HDR, so you're not gonna see the full effect of it, but in person, it looks amazing. And the black levels as well are really controlled. Now, I'm projecting this on a gray wall, which might affect a little bit the color balance of it, but I mean, I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, it's time to check out some PS5 on this thing. There's two games that do a really good job of HDR. Spider-Man is one of the best ones. Can't wait for Spider-Man 2 to come out. That's coming soon. Man, the resolution of this projector really stands out. It's one of the best I've seen. And the brightness levels as well, probably the best. Okay, I did have to turn off 120 Hertz support to get full 4K. If I had a permanent space where I wanted to set this up, like this is the projector I would get from all the projectors that I've tried, because this one has the most color vibrancy. It's got the deepest blacks. It's also got the brightest brights, like the HDR really pops on this. If you want to see what your TV can do, Ratchet & Clank on the PS5, highly recommended. I would definitely recommend this projector if you want to build a home theater system. Of course, you need to pair it up with a nice set of speakers. The projector does have some speakers in it, but it's not what you want to have with a screen like this. You definitely want uh, a nice set of speakers and maybe uh, a sound bar or something like that. But man, this is a really impressive projector. Thumbs up from my side. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to enjoy a little ratchet and clank over here on this gigantic screen if you guys like this video hit that like button leave me a comment subscribe to watch more videos like this and i will see you guys in the next one bye